Hi, so you wanna build Godot from source code uh, because you maybe wanna hack on it and uh, you're a Linux user and you probably would need a, an IDE like uh, kdevelop which is one of my favorite IDEs uh, first step would be to clone uh, Godot engine from source code uh, I mean you, you may wanna clone the git repo uh, it's hosted on github so github.com slash godot engine here is it uh, you may want to clone it get the source code um, so get clone paste the source code and get it I probably I, I already have it so I'm not gonna clone it again um, and then you you'd want to install the dependencies. These this is a list of the dependencies. If you're an Ubuntu user, you can just uh, copy and paste this command. If you're a Fedora user, um, here is a list of the dependencies or the packages you may want to install. Um, I'll 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 you know I'll I'll have that in the description. I'll write that in the description of the video. And once you've done that, all you need to do is just try the commands cons platform equals x11, but make sure, of course, you're into in the Godot directory. So in my case, I have cloned uh, Godot here. So cons platform equals x11, and that should start the build process. And I've already built it, so I'm not going to do it again. Uh, and you should find the output and the bin subdirectory. Uh, not sure. Yeah, that's that's probably it. So here is it. It's built from source code. So if you've built it successfully, then congratulations. But you, if you want to hack into the code, you probably need a, an IDE, an integrated development environment. And in my case, I like to use KDevelop. It's one of the really underrated um, IDEs there is. Um, it's really simple to integrate Godot into it. Just, just navigate to the Godot uh, directory. Here is it in my case. Um, I don't have... Okay, so here is it. Just next uh, general project I'll, I'll I'll use a custom build system because we're not using make really we're just using scans scans build system so I'm gonna select custom build system and I'm gonna go finished and that's it it's gonna do the parsing you know you'll need to do some configuration first like for example having some of the import or include uh, here are here is a list of the uh, of the paths that you need to include um, I'm just gonna include them real quick you know you're you're including those so that you would be able to you know for so that kdevelop will be able to um, locate the include files so I'm just going to type dot, that's the uh, the root directory of the dough and core, core OS, um, core math. By the way, if you find me boring and slow, you can set the speed of the video to 1.5 if you're using UU. I usually do that when the tutorials are boring. Uh, and platform. You know, in my case, in our case, because if you're using Linux, then it's gonna be X11. If you're using Windows, I don't know, I don't think K develop runs on Windows. Anyway. And I'm gonna apply that. The custom build system, this is important, we're gonna add add one the build directory 
Yeah, that's that's the we gonna leave that blank. Uh, the executable would be scones because we're building using scones, and the argument would be platform equals x11. That's a lowercase x. Uh, and you may wanna give it target equals debug so that it would you know produce a, an executable with debug symbols so that you would be able to set breakpoints and you know debug basically and that will be it here okay it's doing background parsing let it finish its thing you may need to build it and then afterwards you go run configure launches and just give it here the path to the executable which is located at inside the subdirectory bin just write it write this path and click OK and you should be good to go and you know setting breakpoints and, and stuff should just work and all the nice features of um, an IDE will just work okay. so you know let's for example set a breakpoint in here toggle breakpoint and let's debug So right now it did launch and it did stop at the um, the breakpoint and now I can step over and step into if I want here I'll just step into and it's gonna return the single time. So you know I can basically just debug. And uh, let me see. You know it's it's slow because I'm screen recording and that background parsing is working okay um, so basic so I, I am getting autocomplete uh, which is pretty cool get singleton so I'm just getting all the features of an IDE so yeah that's wonderful that that will be it uh, and happy hacking thank you